Gladys and today we're going to assemble the Royal Crib and Changer. Make sure you have all the proper hardware and pieces and if anything is missing, please call Consumer Care. One way to know you have the proper hardware is to use the illustrations in the instructions as guidance. Like so. The first step is to attach the rails to the common side. And for this, you will need six metal pins, five barrel nuts, four 70 millimeter bolts, three 50 millimeter bolts, one 35 millimeter bolt, and the provided Allen wrench. And remember, each rail is labeled. The bolts are going to be on the outside. Don't forget to use the short side of the other wrench to tighten the bolt. Like so. Remember to insert the barrel nut sideways because that's where the bolt is going to go through. The next step is to slide the changer surface and panels into the common side. done. Now we're going to attach the changer end and for this we're going to need six metal pins, five barrel nuts, four 70 millimeter bolts, three 50 millimeter bolts, a 35 millimeter bolt and your allen wrench. First we're going to insert the metal pins. Thank you. 
you have to make sure all the pieces are aligned before you start working with the bolts. Don't forget to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. Remember to insert the barrel nut sideways. done. Now that we're done with the changer, we're going to start working on the crib. The first step is to attach the front grill and stabilizer bar to the side of the crib. And for this, we're going to need four metal pins, four barrel nuts, and four 70 millimeter bolts. And don't forget your Allen wrench. And also, use the labels as guidance. We're going to insert the metal pins and attach the stabilizer bar to the front rail. Don't forget to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. Remember to insert the barrel nut sideways. Now we're going to attach the mattress support and for this we're going to need four 18 millimeter bolts and the other wrench. Remember to use the highest position for newborn and then go downwards once your child grows. Don't forget to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolts. And you're done. Next, we're going to attach the back grill to the crib. And for this, we're going to need four barrel nuts and four 70 millimeter bolts. And don't forget your Allen wrench. Also, use the label as guidance. Don't 
Don't forget to insert the barrel nut sideways. That's it. Now we're going to work on the drawers. And the first step is to attach the front to the sides of the drawer. For this, we're going to need eight 25 millimeter screws. Remember to always use the labels as guidance. Now you're going to slide the bottom panel. Like that. Now we're going to attach the drawer back. And for this we're going to need 8 plastic barrel nuts and 8 40 millimeter screws. Also use the labels as guidance. Remember to always insert the barrel nuts sideways. Lastly, we're going to attach the handles, and all you need are the handles and the two handle bolts. That's it. And you're done. Lastly, we're going to attach the changer pad. Make sure that the bolt that's holding the straps is really tight. Now take the instructions and put them back in the pouch. Congratulations, you've just assembled the Royal Cribbon Changer. Now we're going to convert your crib into a day bed. Remember those instructions you put away? You're going to need them. The first step is to detach the front rail and stabilizer bar. And for this, you're going to need your Allen wrench. Remember for this part, your mattress support should be on the lowest position because now your child is older. To make this step easier, you can loosen up a corner of the mattress support. Now we're going to reattach the stabilizer bar. For this, you will need two pins, two barrel nuts, and two 70 millimeter bolts. And don't forget, the pins are already inserted. Now we're going to put the barrel nuts on sideways.
Don't forget to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. Tighten the mattress support. And you're done. Now you have a day mat. A toddler guardrail and crib conversion rails are available for purchase.